A few days on, how do you reflect on Slovakia and the manner of the win? Oh, um, a lot of emotions. Um, you know, especially sitting on the bench, 94th minute. You're not thinking, are you going home or are you not? Thinking what you're going to do on a Monday when you land back in, back in England. But, you know, a moment of brilliance, you know, got us back in the game. And, um, you know, I think, I think that just showed our, our spirit, our togetherness. We're a tight group. Uh, everyone gets along and we know what we have in the group. And, you know, we know that if we stick together that anything's possible. And we managed to show that on Sunday. Where do you place that moment in your career? Just watching, just being part of it? Yeah, it's definitely up there. Um, I haven't had too many scary, scary moments like that in my career. But I'd say it's definitely up there with, with one of the best. Yeah, it's that idea, isn't it? You're, you're looking over the edge and you know there's going to be a storm coming unless something incredible happens. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And it's something that, you know, growing up as a kid, I used to, I used to see, you know, in big matches when a moment of brilliance happens and, you know, it just turns the game over. And, you know, to actually be there on, on the pitch and to witness it myself was, was incredible. If you had a word to sum up that goal, what would it be? Outstanding. So, as you say, you get through that. Um, where do you place coming on and being part of that win? Because Jude Bellingham said it was very much a victory for the squad that day. That, that was almost the, the biggest part of the victory, was that it was down to so many. Yeah, I think, you know, throughout this whole tournament, um, you know, whether you're, you're a sub or, or you're a starter, you know, everyone's together no matter what. And, you know, we had Ivan that came on on Sunday that, that changed the game for us as well. Also got an assist. So, you know, I, I'd always say no matter if you're starting or if you're, you're on a bench, you know, you never know when, when your time could come. And, you know, Ivan didn't play a single minute until, that, until he came on and managed to change the game for us. So, you know, it's always about the squad. It's never about the, the starting eleven. It's always about the finishing team. And, you know, no matter what, you always stay together. But you have to come on and contribute. You don't want to be part of it unravelling. That, that was very important, that extra time. Yeah, 100%. Um, even me coming on, managed to, to stop a, a couple of crosses myself, which, which could have, you know, led to a goal or, or who knows what. So, you know, I always say always stay ready. If you're on a bench, no matter what, always stay ready. You can come on and, you know, play a, bi a big part. England have a place to fill at centre-back. I, <laughs> I think you're aware of that. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm always ready. I'm always ready. Um, you know, it's not my decision. Uh, it's down to the gaffer. If I'm in, I'll always be ready to, to do my job. If I'm not, I'll always be ready on the bench to, you know, to come on if I do and, and play a big part again. How do you view the prospect of starting your first tournament match and it's a Euros quarterfinal? Yeah, look, if I play, if I do start, it'd be a, you know, a proud moment for me and my family. Um, it's something that I've I've jumped about as a kid, you know, growing up watching the Euros and, and the World Cups, wanting to be in there myself and wanting to, you know, to actually to, to start a game. So, you know, like I said, it's not my decision. I don't know what's going to happen on Saturday, but if I do start, I'll always be ready. How's Luke Shaw? Yeah, Luke Shaw's trained. He's, he's looking well, looking strong, looking sharp and, and looking fit. What's the challenge Switzerland will bring? Yeah, we respect Switzerland a lot. Uh, a very good team of very good players. Um, we've watched their games. We know what they bring. Um, you know, a lot of pace up top, a lot of power. So, you know, I think as defenders, especially as the back four, how well we've been doing, we've just got to keep going. Um, no matter what, we've managed to do so well at the back. And I'm sure come Saturday we'll do the same. There's been a lot of noise around, well, England's performance level needs to be better. England need to be more intense. England need to play better football. What are the strengths that England have to play to? I think for us, it's, it's all about focusing on, on ourselves. We know that there's always going to be a lot of noise outside. Um, no matter what you've seen in games, when we do keep the ball and, and move it from side to side, you do hear a lot of you know, fans getting annoyed. So we have to block that out, and that's, that's something that we are still doing. Um, you know, we've got a lot of experienced players in the team who have, who have been there and done it before. So you know, as long as we focus on ourselves and, and on our game plan, I'm sure we'll be fine. There have been teams, as you know, who win tournaments. They never really play that well. They win tournaments. Is this maybe the England profile? 
look, we all, <laughs> we we want to win, of course. Um, you know, I've said it before. Um, you know, we're not playing. Obviously, we know as players we can play we can play better, obviously, but. You know, it just goes. It just goes to show that when you don't play as well as you can, but you still manage to get a win. You know, anything's possible, and I know what we have in the squad. Um, I know come Saturday, if we do what we need to do, we'll we'll get through. Have you felt a, a bounce as a result of the way you beat Slovakia? Has it been noticeable within the group? Um, as a group, we've always been high on spirit. Um, the morale's always been good. Obviously, getting the win on Sunday was in the manner that we got it in. Obviously, everyone was was very happy. Um, also, very tired the next day. Um, but no, our spirit's always been high. It's always been good. Um, and like I said, obviously, the way we won on Sunday just boosted it a little bit. It's a special anniversary for the manager. This game, do you know? Number game number hundred and one hundred. Oh, one hundred for Gareth Southgate as manager. Yeah, that's that's brilliant. I think he's done a, a fantastic job. Um, you know, the, what he's done with us in in the in the years that he's been here has been amazing. Um, I think I read a stat about the last four major tournaments we've managed to to get through. You know, past the round of sixteen. So, you know, it's credit to him and the, and the coaching staff on on what he's been able to do with this team. Mm. Special anniversary. It'd be nice to celebrate it though. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, and hopefully we can give that to him. Um, just eight teams left. It's the business end. When you look at the draw, what do you think of England's chances? Um, look, uh, every team in here is it's, it's very difficult. Everyone's got a good team. Um, I'll always say we always just got to focus on ourselves, not about what other teams and what other teams are doing and what's going on around us. As long as we focus on ourselves and the games that we've got ahead of us, and that's that's all that matters. And what do you think the road so far might have given England that other teams might not have? Um, I know people feel like our, our road has been the easiest, but uh, it hasn't. I think you can see that in our, in our group games. When we've played teams, it's been tough. Everyone's been good. Um, you know, like I've said before, I'll say it again. We've got levels that we know that we can improve on. And, um, you know, this week we're, we're working extra hard to, to try and do that. So come Saturday against a good team against Switzerland, I'm sure we'll do better. And if there's one quality England need above all for this quarter-final, what is it? One quality? For me, the, the biggest thing for us is that I've, I've seen since I've been here is, is our togetherness. As long as we, we continue to stick together no matter what, I'm sure we'll be fine. Anything is possible. Exactly, anything is possible.